to go back and find it. It's just quicker. Okay. Right click copy and then we have to go back to menus. So add menu. No, click on uh, yeah, add menu. Uh, let's click on menu name. No, no, sorry. Uh, click back. We have to click on primary links first. And then say add item. Um, put in the path. Story one. Yes, yes. One. We're not going to have it expand because this is going to be a sub menu. So it's going to be a sub menu of page one. I click on save. So then you'll see it will be below page one. Once you click on it, it will have story. People can add comment. Nice. Subject, nice. Preview. Save. Um, and that's basically how you create different pages and menus. Um, if there's any, if you have any questions on what we've done in this video, um, please don't be afraid to send me an email to info at adminsoftware.co.za. Um, you can also give me a call um, during office hours on 082-330-9984. I'll be very more than happy to help you in any way. Um, if you're struggling with something or if you want to add different options and things to your website, you can. Um, one more thing, if you want to expand the functions of your website, you can go to uh, www.drupal.org. This is a website that has um, a whole host of modules and e extra stuff that you can add to the website. It's got like themes, um, as I said, it's got modules. If you want to add another a, a new theme, you just basically click on themes. Let's do that quickly. I'll show you how to, to add a new theme. You'll basically have to um, browse for the theme that you want. Um, let's have a look at this one. And by the way, it has to be a 6.x theme. That's the version of Drupal that's installed on 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 your website. So let's just get this one. So download. Click on save. Uh, save it in downloads. Okay, so that's saved. And you go back to your website. Uh, you go to administer. Click on themes. Click on configure. Uh, oh wait. Okay, so this is where you um, basically just configure the installed themes. To install a new theme, you'll need to access the FTP account. Um, unfortunately, that's not available on our basic. Um, website builder but just send me the the theme that you want to install um, and I'll load it for you but I'm going to show you anyway what what this theme looks like and uh, let me just quickly install it okay so once the theme is installed just refresh and then you'll see there's the new theme we're gonna enable this one so that's the default save configuration and then it'll update to the new theme. Uh, this doesn't look very nice anyway. I don't really like this theme. But yeah, you get the general idea. If you want a custom theme designed for you, we also do that. Um, it has an additional um, fee, 500 Rand once off fee per theme, then you get exclusive rights on the theme. We um, email or s send the, the file to you, can keep it forever, use it on as many websites as you like. Um, on this design we create um, a custom logo for you for the theme any colors that you would like to choose we add more blocks you can have a whole host of blocks that that we or places where you can add more content Let me just change it back to this, this one looks nice okay well, this looks better um, it's got pre-installed themes so you can go and choose 
from the pre-installed themes as well. But as I said, if you want a custom theme that um, more closely represents your company, uh, just contact us and we'll, we'll install that theme for you. Um, yeah, and that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, as I said, if you have any questions, just please don't hesitate to contact me. Contact me. Um, again, on info at adminsoftware.co.za or you can find me during office hours 0823309984. Um, thank you for watching our video and um, good luck on creating your new website. This is Eugene for Admin Software Web Designs. Thanks. Bye.